Does Lewis structure resonate with you? Hi everyone, welcome back to Siri Pencara Kimia Awak. The word resonate is a verb form of the word resonance. You may have heard this word before in films or maybe have used it in daily basis. However, in the context of chemistry, the word resonant bear a completely different meaning. By referring to our previous lesson video, we have already learned on how to draw a Lewis structure and determine the most plausible Lewis structure by calculating the formal charges on every single atom in a molecule. The term resonance structure refers to two or more Lewis structures for a single molecule that cannot be represented accurately by only one Lewis structure. Next, we will learn on how to draw a resonance structure of ozone and carbonate ion. Alright, so now let's take a look on how to draw the Lewis structure for ozone O3. Each oxygen atom is having six electrons. So we have three oxygen O times three. So each oxygen is having six electrons. So six electron times three is equal to 18 electrons. Alright. So, when drawing a Lewis structure, we must make sure that each atom is octet okay, and have the formal charge equal to zero. So first, we draw oxygen in a straight line here. Okay, so for each oxygen here, we have 18 electron and we distribute the 18 electron to these three oxygen atoms. 18. Okay, so for this oxygen atom, we have 2, 4, 6, 8 octet. Alright, so for, this, for the next oxygen atom, 2, 4, 6, 8. This one also octet. But for this oxygen atom, it is not octet. It is having 2, 4, 6 electrons. So what we are going to do here is, we try to distribute this electron from the right oxygen to this bonding. So we make a double bond here and we will have octet configuration for each atom. 2, 4, 6, 8 octet. So for this one, 2, 4, 6, 8. And then for this one, 2, 4, 6, 8. So all of these molecule oxygen atoms have already octet. Alright, so for resonance structure, we use reversible arrow and we draw the same structure but a different bonding for double bond. So for the first structure, we have double bond at the right oxygen atom. For second structure, Alright, so this is the resonance structure for ozone. So when calculating the formal charge for this atom, oxygen atom, 2, 4, 6, 7. So 6 minus 7 is negative 1. For this atom, 2, 4, 5. So 6 minus 5 is positive 1. For this atom, 2, 4, 6. 6 minus 6 equal to 0. So this is the formal charge for all of the oxygen atom. Alright, so for the next structure, for structure number 2, the formal charge for oxygen is 0. Okay, for the second structure, positive 1. And then for the third oxygen, negative 1. So this is the resonance structure for ozone. The most plausible structure is drawn by one is having single bond and double bond and for another one is double bond and single bond for oxygen. 
uh, next we are going to draw the resonance structure for the next structure which is carbonate ion CO3 to minus first as usual we calculate the number of valence electron in carbonate ion okay. so we have here is carbon okay. for carbon atom we have four electron for oxygen atom we have three oxygen atoms times three so three oxygen then six times three so we have 18 electron so we have another bonus ion electron here which is two minus so we add from, from the negative charge we add another two electron so the total electron we are having here is 24 electron 18 plus 6 is 24 what's the problem with this structure so as we can see here for carbon we only have 2 for 6 which is this is not octet what we are going to do here is we take two electron from one of the oxygen atom terminal atom and then we put as a double bond all right so I just erase here and you put double bond so we have all of this atom have already octet but this structure can be drawn as a resonance structure where we can move the double bond from the left oxygen to the down oxygen and the right oxygen okay so for co3 2 minus ion just now we have double bond here okay we use a reversible arrow to show this is a resonance structure okay the next we have c o o o so the double bond we put to the oxygen in the bottom and we have single bond single bond so the terminal atom okay the next structure for resonant so we move the double bond to the right oxygen let us look on how to calculate the formal charge for each atom in this ion all right so for oxygen atom we calculate the number of formal charge two four six six minus six is equal to zero for the bottom oxygen we have two four six seven so six minus seven is negative one okay for the next oxygen atom two four six seven six minus seven is equal to negative one and for carbon we have four minus four which is equal to zero so we have this structure with a formal charge on each atom so now we have structure one we have structure two and we have structure three so we know that the carbonate is an ion with a negative charge we have two ways to write this ion the first we calculate the formal charge and write the total charge on each atom or we can use a bracket to represent the charge which is for co3 to minus c and then we just put a bracket and simply write the negative charge to here okay so for each resonance structure here we can look to the formal charge the total formal charge for each ion is 0 0 negative 2 negative 2 so the total is negative 2 charge which is equal to the total formal charge for carbonate okay for the second one we have 0 0 negative 1 negative 1 so the total is negative 2 and then this one also we have negative 1 negative 1 0 0 so the total formal charge is equal to negative 2 all right so from this structure we know that carbonate and ozone cannot be represented by only one UV structure so we have already learned on how to draw the resonance structure for carbonate and ozone as an exercise you can try to draw the resonance structures for nitrate ion and O3 minus and dinitrogen oxide and 2O. I 
hope you have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and click the bell icon if you want to be notified when our new videos are uploaded. Thank you and have a nice day.